Let's play some Burgle Rogue. But not that Burgle Rogue that really just wants to be playing zero mana four fives. We're actually committing to the plan. Playing a copy of Tess Grey Main, playing two copies of Contraband Stash. This is a real genuine Burgle Rogue. Of course, the recent buff to Wild Pod Null does help, and the change to Tooth of Nefarian is very welcome. But at the end of the day, this definitely is a Tess Grey Main deck. Am I supposed to keep Krabatoa? The card is really just nuts. I want to burgle. It might be right to keep it, but it doesn't burgle at all. Now this hand burgles. Am I supposed to trade or play Swash Burglar here? I guess Swash Burglar is relevant on board. Crush is pretty nice. With every step, the light guides you. Uh, not the best touch. In fact, maybe I just reconnaissance instead. A Jaren Saber. Sunken Saber can pull Krabatoa. It's kind of sick. Let's take a Jarrant Saber. It's also just kind of nice to get 4-3 rushers off of Tess. I'll make this attack against Judgment of Justice. I'm just so smart. It also leaves up a tooth target. With every step, the light guides you. Reporting for duty. Pretty dry hand here. Yikes. Frost Wolf Kennels. What about Dark Alley Pact? I'd be prepping it. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Sure. So Contraband Stash so far makes the 6-6, six, six, or however big my hand is at the time, and an Ajaran Saber. The next turn I'll probably coin a Crush into it. Pretty good conviction, I guess. Alright, that's gone fishing for Sunken Saber. Mm, this is not the turn for it, though. A little bit unfortunate. I think Sunken Saber is definitely... Oh, Contraband Stash. I think it's got to be Sunken Saber, though. So that's four cards into Contraband Stash. Probably want to make a 4-6 Taunt to go with it next turn. Very sick, very sick. Actually not sure if I want to play Druid of the Claw here. This already kind of demands a board clear, I would say. Hmm. 
but like this also demands a board clear and then so does this and then I can shadow step it twice. Let's just make a board. Can hold the wild paw null though. What a large banner man you have over there. Could shoot it for seven. And then just like weapon plus claw into it. I kind of like protecting my taunt. Do I just play contraband sash here? It summons four minions, right? Or did it summon five? I forget what the fifth card was. Bear, saber, saber, crash. I don't remember. Oh, right, that thing. How did I rope so hard? What the heck? Did I have a stroke? I thought I had like four more seconds. Am I getting Mackie rolled here? Well, if that's all it is, Crush doesn't even die. Oh, it does die to their attack. That's fine. Shadow stepping Tess, obviously. I think I like doing that so the Sunken Saber pulls something. That thing is a bit scary. Oh, Vanessa for Leviathan is kind of good. And that lets me dredge up a Contraband Stash. That's really sick, actually. So sick. Um, Can I take nine... I really don't want to be put closer to Mr. Smite range for free. Probably just send 12 into this. Okay. Oh, not even a board clear. Put eight into this, four into this, three into this. So my board is getting cleared here, basically. Don't think I need to use that. Tooth could be useful. Here we go. Ah! 
Draw two or draw one and heal. I think I like heal. Alright, hell of a board, hell of a hand. I still have Test Shadows up, even after all this. don't really have a great way to pop this bubble. I guess I'm sending four damage into it. But let's start with some burgling. Draw a minion if it's a dragon, etc. What if I set up a snake trap? That could be scary. I guess it's fine to have a scabs in hand. Um, I can play a 2-5 if I want. Kind of like playing the snake trap here. Well, maybe the snake confused them briefly. I only have 10 damage here somehow. Um, I guess I can toss. I love a taunt. I'm really just afraid of Mr. Smite. Oh, this thing shuffling into my deck is so sick, though. But I think a taunt is really, really strong. Get a card out of hand so I can draw again. Alright, I ended up getting another taunt. That's good, that's good. Two cards in deck, they're both extortions. Second equality is looking pretty buried. Or maybe they just don't have anything to go with it, because they've played double pyro, carryel. Uh, do I have lethal here? What does my hand do? Three damage. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Definitely not lethal. But that's okay. Actually, could have pushed a little bit more than I thought, but uh, this is probably still the best way to do it. Yeah, there's no way I missed 7, but I did miss a little bit of damage, I think. Alright, that last little sequence just made these cost 0 instead of 1. Two 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 17 damage. Not going to be a lethal. The opponent's on eight. They've played both Mackie rolls. There's the equality. Okay, some Muro, sure. Save me, Tess. I need at least one taunt here, I think. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Okay, I got a taunt. Maybe I was guaranteed a taunt, I actually don't know. Nice. It's the seventh board that gets him. Something like that, you know. You know the saying. Probably Naga Priest, right? Can't imagine that's a great matchup for me. Actually, Wild Paw Null is probably super, super good in this matchup. It's probably the best matchup for Wild Paw Null. So let's try actually drawing it. Alright, definitely don't want to disable the double agent here. Not really sure what my opponent is. I've never seen a Naga Priest that didn't draw Slither Spear. But they also didn't quest. Alright. Looks Naga. And there's the wig. Oh, they had double wig. How exciting. Oh, and a 5-6. I see we're not slowing down. I also have a pretty impressive turn 3 play. Double Agent. Well, I guess we'll start with Tooth. Show me pure uh, this one, exactly this card. Couldn't think of what it was called. I was going to call it Purified Shard. I'll just full clear the board. All right, my opponent had the nuttiest turn two ever. But then I found the right card. God, what are the odds? I think that's the only mass silence card in the game, right? Or that I could have hit. I couldn't have hit Starfish there. Yeah. 
Oh, did you run out of things to do over there, priest? That's so sad. Does this still give me the serpent wig from, like, two turns ago? This whirlpool might actually be good if they ever make another board. More three threes, you say? Oh, I want to equip this and attack, don't I? Oh, I already attacked. Well, awkward. I don't want to talk about it. That can get up to three AoE. Or eight, you know, either way. Wait, hold up. I'm still going to lose. Do I prep Whirlpool in 8-7? I think I do. I think I prep Whirlpool in 8-7. After you play the left or rightmost card in your hand, draw a card. Damn, that card is really good with Shadow Stop. And now I have a Whirlpool inside my Contraband Stashes and my Tess. That's pretty good as well. I really wish they didn't end every turn with Serpent Wig, because I don't want that card. Oh, that's not Serpent Wig. Wow. Plus one, plus one. So I can also make a four or five here with my shadow steps. Insane. There's a contraband stash. I just need to not die this turn. Null can kill this with shadow step, so that's sick. Uh, probably should have prepped out the recon, but whatever. Okay, it's pretty hard to die here, but not impossible. Heal up to three, wig up to seven, bless up to nine. Oh, they just need, uh, okay. They just needed Shadow or Devour, but they don't have it. Oh, they do have it, they don't have bless. Well, if they had Bless, I would have been dead, so I'm not super worried about killing this. Might still kill it, though. I can Whirlpool it so easily. I don't know what all my Contraband Stash does. It Whirlpools, oh, it silences as well, but Whirlpool kind of negates that. Let's see what I can hit with Recon. Eh, maybe I just end on a Burglar. Started with Whirlpool, so if I played any minions, I get them, but I don't really remember if I did. Oh, I played this thing. Yes, I played this thing. Kind of like Taunt. Maybe Rush is nice, though. Oh, we love Tess. That's another Whirlpool. Scabs is really good as well. Man, this Razor Glaive Sentinel has been insane. Imagine if this was just a rogue card.
You're making another big thing. I think it might be a little too late, though. Do I have lethal? I have 8, 9, 10, 13, 15. I always forget you can put this on something that doesn't have taunt. I am right that this can go face, right? I had three board clears in hand still. 